Hi guys, it's Jeremy the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 250 on SOA exam P, so pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you are attentive, let's just dive right in. A company sells two types of life insurance policies, P and Q, and one type of health insurance policy. A survey of potential customers agree with the following. No survey participant um, wanted to purchase both life pur um, life policies. So we, can, we know that like P and Q are mutually exclusive. Twice as many participants wanted to purchase life policy P as life policy Q. Policy P is probability of policy P is twice of policy Q. Okay, 45% of participants wanted to purchase the health policy. Okay, and only 18% of participants wanted to buy. So this is oh, that's awful. So this is health policy right here. Um, 45% wanted to purchase health policy. But only 18 wanted to purchase only the health policy. The events that a survey participant wanted to purchase the health policy was independent of the events that survey on participant wanted to purchase life policies. Okay, calculate the probability that randomly selected like survey participant wanted to purchase exactly one policy. So that means exactly health policy or exactly um, just one of the life insurance policies. Okay, so then we know that this part right here is independent so probability of p and h is equal to probability of p times probability of h right and then i likewise probability of um q and h is equal to probability of q times probability of h all right and we know that that part has to add up to um so this part right here the whole thing has to add up to 0.45 right and we know that this part right here, just just the health policy is 0.18. So that means that means probability of H and probability of Q and H has to add up to 0.27, right? Because it's the 0.45 minus 0.1H. Okay, okay, let me choke you. And we can actually substitute these things in right here. So this is equal to probability of P times probability of H plus probability of Q times probability of h equals 0.27. We can ha actually factor the um, probability of h out. So on the inside, we get probability of p plus probability of q equals 0.27. And we know the probability of h, right? Right here, we had it. Probability of h is equal to 0.45. OK, so we can actually substitute that in. So 0.45 is equal times the whole thing. So And we also know the probability of um, right here we wrote it right here. We know the probability of P is equal to 2 times the prob probability of Q. So that means we can substitute that in. So you can say 2 times probability of Q plus probability of Q equals 0.27. Okay, so I'm going to divide the 0.27 divided by the 0.45, and that's equal to 3, P, 3 times probability of Q is equal to 0.6. So then the probability of Q is 0.6 divided by 3 which is 0.2. Then likewise, we can say we can substitute it in. So we can say the probability of um, Q, wait, probability of P is equal to 2 times 0.2, which is just 0.4. Okay, so what is the area that we're actually looking for? Well, we're looking for the um, probability that um, selected survey participants want to purchase exactly one policy. So that means exactly just the um, home policy or exactly just one of the health policies, so those areas right here. Okay, so to find out, we already have almost everything we need, right? We already know what H is, we already know what P and Q is. We just want to find out what the intersection is. So the, what is the probability of uh, P and H? Well, that's just, we already figured, um, wrote out our formula right here, just have to plug in the numbers. So this is just equal to, because they're independent, we can just say it's probability of H times probability of P. So this is equal to 0.45 times probability of P, which is 0 0.4, 0 0.18. Okay, so how about the probability of, what is it? Oh, Q and H. Well, this is also the, because they're independent, we can just say it's probability of Q times probability of H, which is equal to 0.45 times 0.2, which is equal to 0 0.09. All right, so we already have everything we need. So all we have to do is we just have to add up these blue areas. Or actually, maybe I'll use different colors. Okay, so the blue part we know, just probability of just H 
is just equal to 0.18. And this probability right here of just the purple part, probability of just P is equal to, the probability of P is equal to 0.4, right? Minus the intersection, which is 0.18, which is equal to 0.22. And the last area right here, just the probability of Q right here. Okay, well that's just equal to probability of Q, which is 0.2, minus the intersection, which is 0 0.09, which is equal to 0 0.11. <laughs> okay, so we just have to add it up. So that's equal to 0 0.18 plus 0.22 plus 0 0.11, which is equal to 0 0.51, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.